Hey, what's cracking, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking a look at a system called Deblight OS. And as you can see right here, the page is actually, uh, I want to say it's in French. So we need to uh, translate this over into English. So I'll just use right here, translate this page from French to English. Then I'll click on translate. Yeah, it'll translate everything over to uh, English. So right here it says, welcome to Deblight OS, a lightweight and fast system for older 32-bit PCs and up to 64-bit PCs today. The, the translation is going to make things seem awkward here. So, you know, that's because it's translated from French to English. So for a beginner, as an experienced individual, through associations. And there's some other info right here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll post this uh, link. That way, uh, that way, if you want to read up on it and take a look at it, you can do it yourself. There's other links right here. You have welcome, downloads, categories, images, partners, research, blog, and forum. So I've already downloaded the 64-bit uh, ISO, and I think it's the LXDE version. They have a few versions, so let's click on the downloads. And you can see right here, they have LXDE and they have XFCE. And I believe I downloaded the 64-bit uh, for uh, LXDE. But uh, we'll head on over to the virtual machine right now and uh, confirm whether I downloaded the LXDE version or if it's the XFCE version. And of course, with this page also, you'll have to do the translation so you can get it in English. Speaking on this, it looks like I'm going to have to deal with uh, changing the language and everything on the installer itself. So uh, let's head on over to the virtual machine. Let's take a look at Deb Light OS and let's get it installed and take a look at it. Okay, and I have the ISO right here booted up in the virtual machine. And uh, just from reading right here, it says Installer Le Systeme. So I'm assuming it's in French. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this right now. And I believe this is based on uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition, if I am correct. So right now, you can see it's set to French, but I need to change that to English. American English. Then I'll click Next. Uh, the time zone is already selected correctly, Los Angeles. Click Next. Uh, English US default keyboard is selected, so I'll click Next. I'll select Erase Disk and swap the file, just something I do by default. And I always use ext4. Click on Next. Now I'll enter my uh, user information. So we got Linux Hub. Give it a strong and complicated password that's not one two. And for me, I'm going to log in automatically and use the same password for the administrator account. I wouldn't uh, recommend this for a new user, but if it's something you want to do, do it. But uh, this is not recommended. All right, get an overview of everything that's going to happen right now. So we'll go ahead and uh, click on install. So it says right here, welcome and thank you for choosing Deblight OS. This overview gives you an overview of the system installs on your computer. So you got English and French uh, welcomes right here. So now that I got it installed, I selected English. Hopefully everything comes up in English. So when I reboot the system, hopefully everything will be automatically set to English. If not, then I'll have to go into the system and uh, make some changes. But for right now, we'll let the installer go ahead and uh, finish what it's doing. I'll pause the video and when we come back, we'll be ready to reboot into Deblight OS. And the installation is now completed, so we'll go ahead and reboot the system and take a look at Deblight OS. Okie dokie. We have uh, rebooted into the system and you can see right here we have a welcome. Well, it says welcome on. Bienvenue sur. So welcome to Deblight. Bienvenue sur Deblight. So it's both in English and in French. So it's just a little bit of a combination of the both of both that it has right here. And it looks like uh, this is the uh, welcome screen for uh, Linux Mint. It is as I recognize it and I have edited my own self personally. So I know this is the uh, Linux Mint uh, welcome screen. And this is where you got your first steps, 
So you got your documentation, your help, and your contribute. But we're not going to go through this since we're just looking at the system. This is just the first look so we can look at the system and see what all what all it comes with out of the box and how you would go about using it on a fresh install. So on this one, we have the uh, panel on the top. And by clicking on it, it looks like I did download the XFCE version. At least from this panel, that's what it's telling me because it is the XFCE. This is the uh, whisker menu. So uh, right now, what I want to do is uh, fix my resolution. So I'll go into. Anyways, let me get back to it. Maybe let me look at this real quick. No, maybe this is the uh, LXDE desktop environment because I don't think it, it's not. It's not acting like the uh, like the XFCE whisker. It looks like it, but it's not it. So let me go to all applications. Let me see if I can find display. Okay, I don't see a display, so I need to go to a system settings or let me try preferences. And yeah, right here I see LX session. So it is definitely the, the LXDE desktop environment. Desktop session settings. So I'll go here. Do I see anything on? Let me try this one. Uh, monitor settings. All right, I'll change this to 1920 by 1080. Right there, refresh rate auto. Click on apply. Click on OK. Save. OK. All right. So right now, my uh, my dock panel is supposed to be on the bottom, but since I just changed the uh, screen resolution. I'll have to fix this. So let me try uh, doing a quick log out. All right, I just uh, logged back in and out of the system and I got the welcome screen again. So I'll go ahead and close this down. But I didn't get the uh, the little dock panel is supposed to be on the bottom. So uh, I might have to just reboot to get that. Oh, there it is. And it is back in this weird position right here. So let me try a full reboot. I'll make it quick for you guys. Okay, after a full reboot, I can see that the the dock is still in the wrong position. Whenever I do open up something, it does disappear though, so it's not a problem. So right here on the desktop, we got a, a few icons right here. We got Deb Light OS. I'm not sure what that is. And right here, I think this is the ISO that's mounted. We have a documents folder and we have trash. But let me click on this uh, Deb Light OS. Invalid desktop entry file. All right, so that's a failure. All right, and we do have the uh, LXDE panel on the top, and this panel has the uh, system tray on the right with your clock and time. You have your volume controls, your notifications, pretty much everything that comes in a system tray is right here on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, you have your uh, pinned applications. In this case, we have a uh, file manager, PC Manifam, we have a terminal. And then we have Firefox ESR. And then next to that, we have minimize all open windows and show this up. And then we have menu dev light and then the regular uh, applications menu. So in the menu dev light, it kind of like opens up this uh, full page right here. And if you use your scroll wheel, you can see right here, you have different pages so on the second page, the third page and the fourth page. So it's kind of like, uh, Kind of like the gnome, the gnome menu, but well, similar to it. Uh, you could also do this with a Rofi, I believe. There's some Rofi uh, themes that can also perform this uh, function right here. But you also have like accessories, office, graphics, internet, games, sound and video, preferences, and then preferences again, and then system tools. All right, but uh, how would you want to escape this? How would you get out of it? I guess uh, using the escape key. Yep, that worked. So if you didn't know that, using the escape key will get you out of that. But then we have the regular LXDE menu right here. And we have our favorites. We have our recently used. We have all applications. We have accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, preferences and sound and video. 
So you get a full a full uh, suite here. So everything you need for a system is basically on here. And if there's something else that you need, you would just uh, open up a terminal and do it that way. And I don't know what type of uh, software, if they have a graphical software uh, center on here. Let me check to see if they have anything like that. So let me go on the preferences. Let's see. We have software manager. Oh yeah, well it is based off Linux Mint, so it should have the the Linux Mint uh, software manager. So uh, while this is updating, let's take a look at our plan applications. So we have file manager, PC man, and fan. So this is basically the file manager for uh, LXDE. On most lightweight systems, you'll find PC man and fan, and it pretty much does everything you knew. You do the right click, you got your show hidden files, and you can hide them again. And then, of course, you could use Control H on your keyboard. Do the same thing. You can hide them. You can show them. And you have your standard layout. You got your desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, and videos. And then you have other things right here also. And this is your uh, file manager. All right. Before we get to the software manager, let's take a look at the uh, terminal. So the terminal we are using here, let's do a little quick about. And it is XFCE4 terminal. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that. And you can see the transparency is kind of uh, thick on this, or should I say light in this case? Well, it's very transparent, in other words. So let's see if they have uh, HTOP installed. They do have HTOP. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. Uh, because of the uh, transparency it kind of makes it hard to see so let me see if i can uh change the color scheme here appearance uh opacity all right we'll just do it like that all right so that i just removed all of the opacity i don't like doing with the opacity i don't like dealing with it nothing like that so you can see right here we're using 1.4 gigs out of four gigabytes all the averages are low Everything's running smooth on here. All right, now let's see if we have NeoFetch. And we do have NeoFetch. So let me just scroll up on it. You can see right here, DebLight 1.6. And the kernel on this system is 6.1.0. All right, and then you have the, all your other relevant info right here. So if you want to pause it, take a look. And you see right here, desktop environment, LXDE, window manager, open box. All right, and this is your terminal. And next to that, we have Firefox. Firefox, the common uh, web browser on most of the uh, Linux systems. And automatically, you see it opens up the uh, DevLight OS. And right here, you have the button. So if you want to switch to translation from French to English, just click on translate and give it a minute. And bam, there you have it. But well, let's take a quick look and see uh, what version of Firefox we're running. And it is 128.3.1 ESR. So being that it is a Linux Mint Debian edition, which basically makes it Debian, it's, uh, it's going to use the ESR version. And they are always a little behind, but that's because it's a, it's a solid and known to be working version. All right, we've taken a look at all of the uh, pinned applications. So now let's take a look at the software manager. So you can install software from here, but being that it's Debian based, you can also open up a terminal and sudo apt, install whatever it is you want to install. But in this case, let's say for example, we want to install GIMP. Uh, it says right here, it is a system package, but you could also get it from Flatpak. But we could do the system package basically means it's going to do a sudo app install. So we can go ahead and install it. It tells you what uh what else is going to be installed with it as far as dependencies, things like that. Click on continue. Give it your uh, complicated password. That's not one two, and then it goes off and does the installation. While it's doing the installation, let's take a look and see it. The about it is Mint install 8.3.3 software manager. So this is the standard software manager for Linux Mint. All right, get past finished installing. So let's open up our menu. Let's go to graphics. And there it is. We have GIMP 2.10. The 
the version three is supposed to be out soon. I don't know, maybe another five years we might get it. But this is still 2.10. Basically, everything on Debian is only going to be uh, work in applications that don't have any issues. That's why they're always uh, behind on their versions because they're tested and proven to work. All right, so that's Gib. That's your software manager. It's pretty much uh, everything in a nutshell for Deb Light OS. Pretty good system. Uh, when you get it, like I said, everything will be in French, so you have to translate it over to English. But uh, everything once installed, it it, uh, it works fine. Right here on your dock panel, you know, this thing right here is kind of uh, out of whack. Oh, I'm going to leave it alone. All right, well, anyways, this is Deb Light. Everything's working on here properly except for this dock right here. It's kind of uh, the position of it is all wrong, but other than that, it's fine. All right, if it's something you want to take a look at, I'll have all the links down in the video description. Again, this is just a first look, so uh, it's not a it's not a detailed look at it. It's just a first look to show you what you get out of the box once you install it. All right, uh, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you didn't like the video, please give it a thumbs down. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'm out. Thank you.